tools. NASCAR late model division has had its share of bumps and bruises so far in 1996. There was a big pile up in turn three that ended the season so far for the 0-0 car, Lauren Petrash. Another scary crash for late models on the front straightaway that included John Lemke, Josh Vadness, Dan Ryan, and Les Ferris, with the rest of the field scattering the landscape. The worst accident we have seen so far this year came on that foggy night a few weeks back when number 31 Scott Higgins Pan America ride blew a motor going into turn one. The oil slick collected Bruce Moore, Dave Schmaltz, Troy Wangeren, and John Lemke. Moore's car has been sidelined in the shop ever since, but should be ready for this Saturday night. These are just some of the bad crashes. The late models have had more than their fair share so far this year. But with all that carnage, there have been some very bright moments for this class. There has been only one repeat feature winner. Mike Tuma was the first to win two features after best in the field a couple of weeks back. Tuma fell short last season in the points chase, had some bad luck at the beginning of the year, but is back on track as we head into the summer racing months. Plus, he is the current point leader for the newly developed Telecom Gold Star Series. The 11-time track champion Jeff Martin once again is the man to beat in the nightly time trial run. Martin has been top qualifier for all but one event this season at Elko Speedway. The only person to have beaten him is last year's Rookie of the Year runner-up, Paul Payne, in the green and yellow We Care Transportation Monte Carlo. Both Payne and Martin have one feature win on the year, with Martin's coming on a night when he accepted the Layman's Garage Ultimate Challenge, starting in the rear of the 22-car main grid. Martin worked his way through the field on the caution-filled night to win and pocket 1500 bucks, including the $1,000 bonus from Layman's Garage. Another fan favorite is Steve Mergic and the Metro Weather Stripping Pontiac. Mergic struggled last year, but seems to have regained his old form. Team Mergic is working well together and has one feature win on the year, along with the point lead at this time. Teammate Ray Gensler won an opening night in April, but has struggled since then. Gensler has had a couple DNFs and a couple of poor finishes after starting the season out so well. But this is a tough division. Tougher than many will realize. There are three former NASCAR regional champions competing every Saturday night with Steve Mergic, Mel Wallen, and Kevin Noodleman. There is a combined 60-plus track championships among the top 25 drivers in the class. Anyone could win on any given night because they definitely know how to win. The Mac Tools NASCAR Late Models at Elko Speedway is one of the strongest fields of weekly competitors anywhere in the country. And the class keeps getting better and better. The rookie chase this year is currently being led by Dan Ryan, who drives against Ryan's Chevrolet number 39. Ryan has come close on a couple of occasions, but has yet to win a feature this year. Ryan's closest competition is Bruce Moore, but with Moore's wreck a couple of weeks back, it'll be tough for anyone to nab Ryan's glory this year. Many have asked how the late models obtain points each night. It is really simple in this division. There are no points awarded for the time trials, dashes, or heats. All those are for is to line up the feature event each night. In the NASCAR late models, points are only awarded for the feature finish. The winner will receive 50 points. Each position back will be two points less per spot, meaning second place will be 48, third 46, fourth 44, and so on. Now, here's a look at where everyone stacks up in the Mac Tools NASCAR Late Models point standings. Steve Mergic has taken over the point lead from the defending champ Jeff Martin as we near the midseason championship set for June 29th. Kevin Noodleman is hung in there to hold down sixth, while Rookie of the Year candidate Dan Ryan is among the top ten in seventh. Jason Schneider drives a Hooters restaurant Chevrolet and is tied with Gordy Swanson for 10th, while a couple of feature winners, Ray Gensler and Paul Payne, sit 13th and 14th in points. Tim Stanley in the Melby Landscaping Ride has had some tough luck so far this season, sitting back in 16th, while a newly retired Dick Muller is still among the top 20 after deciding to go back to the sportsman division. Part-time competitor Barry Fireball Tanner leads an X5, bringing us up to date on the current 25 for the NASCAR late models.